everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh, okay, in the last part, we were on this route, and everybody wanted my phone number, and then my DS started to run out of battery, so I had to stop recording. Uh, in this part, we're going to continue down this route, and hopefully find some neat stuff beyond? Hopefully, because this place is honestly kind of boring and cramped. Um, first off, I would like to apologize for the lack of an episode uh, this past week. Unfortunately, I fell ill unexpectedly with the flu, so I wasn't really in any condition to record. No. Bad drowsy. Okay. Um... Oh wow, okay, what, whatever. I forgot how obnoxious my random encounters were in this game. It's been too long since I've played this. Okay, so like I said, I had the flu. I was in no condition to record anything for a while. And thankfully, I'm feeling a lot better uh, this particular weekend that I'm recording. And oh yeah, I determined that we didn't really need to go here, because, ugh. Oh. Yeah, and then the tree, yeah, the magically regrowing tree. I remember that too. So I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, I may sound a little bit nasally, and that's because there's some remnants of congestion left in my body. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of caught uh, in that awkward stage where you're in between absolute congestion and pretty much stable non-congestion, where you can breathe consistently and your throat isn't at all sore, but you sound really nasally at the same time and you're still coughing up mucus and your nose is still raw, but not as raw as it felt yesterday when such, just breathing caused you pain. And now the worst that happens is you feel mildly uncomfortable if you become aware of the fact that your nose is raw, which is happening to me right now, and it kind of sucks, but whatever. Eh, that was probably too much information. But hey, my life has been dominated by sickness like this whole past week. So, uh, I haven't really had anything else to talk about. Oh yeah, my Pokemon! Pitch, how are you? Pitch is steadily poking at the ground. Did you miss me? I bet you missed me, you sweet girl, you sweet girl. Um... Hey, Pokemon, how are they doing? Uh, let's see here. Ampere appears. Hey, appears. <laughs> Ampere's to be low on health. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Uh, Pippi. Pippi is a level lower than her teammates, so let's go on ahead and switch her up. And I probably sound really nasally. I'm so sorry. Can't really be helped, I'm afraid. Oh, music note. Pippi is playfully nibbling at the ground. Oh, you cutie. Alright, uh, so let's go on ahead and see what lies beyond. You're the police officer. Oh, thank you. I believe I did fight him. Yeah, fighting the police. Pokemon is clearly teaching us great morals. Hi, child. I heard about the bug catching contest where bug type lovers gather from all over the region. Me? I cannot take bug types. Hmm, interesting. I like bugs, as long as they're not spiders. <laughs> Uh, the Pokeathlon Dome is this way. Please go through the entrance gate and do participate in the games. Oh, I remember this! This is basically what they replaced contests with in this game. It's really quite fun. Uh, it's like the mini-games. Like, 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 basically, it's the Olympics, but for Pokemon. Hello. moo ha, -ha. What is with all the weird laughs in Pokemon games? I'll never understand. Okay, hello. Hmm. I feel it! In your bones? No. Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? This old man with the polyrath is feeling it. If you can't feel it, you're clearly doing something wrong, Mr. Krabs. Gosh, I need to stop making SpongeBob references. I make too many of those, I'm so sorry. The twinkle in your eyes, the twinkle of friendship. You're quite something. Your bay leaf is quite a Pokemon. Thanks. Okay. It's ready to participate in the Pokeathlon, bud. I'm not your bud. You literally just walked up to me. I'm not really comfortable being called anyone's bud when I haven't even gotten a chance to say a word to them yet. Most of all, your solidarity with and trust of Pokemon makes me believe in infinite potential. All right, follow me. Oh, okay, weird old man. You're not taking me somewhere to murder me, are you? Okay, good. This looks like an actual legitimate place. Sorry for doubting you. It's just, you know, when strangers take me to places that are hidden with a lot of trees around and all that, I'm kind of like, ha, ha, you know, maybe want to make sure I'm not getting murdered here. Okay, what do you think? This is the Pokeathlon Dome. Uh, looks pretty neat. I, I like the spinning, swaying lights that look unnatural to me for some reason. I don't know why. <clears throat> oh, oh, we get a close-up of it. Oh, now that's cool. Dude, I, I take back what I said about the lights. 
The lights on the roof totally make up for that. That is awesome looking. Pokeathlon is a sports festival for trainers and Pokemon. Oh, sports. Well, I don't do sports, man. I'm sorry. I'm an artist, not an athlete. Inside the domes are various challenges awaiting trainers and Pokemon to test their friendship. Why don't you try it? I, I told you, I, I ain't no athlete, dude. You're amazing, bud. This is a pleasant surprise. Why do you call me bud? Don't do that, please. To see a pokey athlete with strong potential is such a pleasure. I'm not an athlete! I'm a pokey artist, not a pokey athlete. I literally go to an art school where we don't have sports. I don't do sports, I'm sorry. I'm glad I held the pokey athlon here in Johto. My name is Magnus, we shall meet again, bud. See you, young pokey athlete. Great, thanks for introducing yourself to me literally as soon as you leave. And your polyrath is scaring me. Okay. Hi, child! Did this creepy Magnus guy call you his bud? Because if so, you need to find an adult. Running and jumping in. There are so many events for Pokemon to choose from. Which one should I try? Hmm. Well, for your Oddish? I don't know what Oddish would be good at. Not really running. They have stumpy legs. Jumping, stumpy legs. Uh... <laughs> try planting it and see if it grows into anything. That's my advice. You could be a Poke Gardener instead of a Poke Athlete. Hello! There is more to Pokemon than battling. No, duh. I like your meow. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I have a soft spot for meow because one cat person and two yin. Uh, also, you may notice that it is nighttime in my game, and that is because I am recording this at night. This was just the most convenient time for me. Hello, energy drink. Welcome to the Apra Juice stand. Apra Juice sounds tasty, huh? What's that confused look about? You don't know about Apra Juice? No, I don't. Is it apricot juice? There, take this. Apra Blender. Why, why does everything have to be, like, have the prefix Apri on it? You put the Apra Blender in the Apricorn. Oh, the Apron, Apron, Oprah, Apricorn. However you pronounce it. When you have the Apra, Apra, Oprah Blend. Oh, gosh. Now that you've applied this prefix to everything, this just means more words that I can't pronounce. Darn you, Pokemon Grammar. Oh, you can show me. You can make Apri, Oprah, Apra juice to make your Pokemon show their true potential. It's so easy to make. All you have to do is put the Apra, Apra, Oprah corns in the Apra, Apra, Oprah Blender. Put it as many as you can. The more, the merrier. Then you walk. You can run if you want. 98, 99, 100 steps. There, you have it open. Give it to your Pokemon or drink it yourself. Oh, I can drink it. Can I be the athlete? If I drink enough of these things, can I compete in the events alongside the Pokemon? Because I would love that. <laughs> Actually, that'd probably be really scary. I'd be so out of my comfort zone. Like I said, Pokey artist, not Pokey athlete. You can buy a Parappa Rapper juice here. Why don't you try it and see how it works? Do you have any more questions? Uh, 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 understood. Yeah, I got it. Charge yourself with friendship. Get to know the blah 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 juice. Pick one from the shelf. Uh, Bayleaf, you're feeling as fishy about this as I am. Pippi's very eager. You're eager? Do you want some? So discerning of you, Chris's jump juice. Only 100. I. Uh, whatever. Let's buy some. <clears throat> Thank you. Which Pokemon do you. Well, since Pippi seemed quite excited about it, let's. Oh, oh, I get to see Pippi's stats. She has, like, full-fledged skill. Oh, Pippi's got mad skills. And she drinks it. It looks like an icy cup. Is it like an icy for Pokemon? And... Okay, her speed performance has increased. What? She lost some of her skill performance. But her jump performance and oh, that's not fair. I didn't know it was gonna take away some of my stuff. Rip up. You didn't warn me about this. My Pippi's skills have been decreased. I'm so sorry, Pippi. But she's still very eager, so that's probably okay. Whatever, we'll, we'll fix it later. You got mad skills no matter what. And uh, this appears to be a duck race. Except for Slowpoke. Slowpoke is not a duck, but hey, I mean, Kind of a derpy Pokemon, maybe it thinks that it's a duck. Uh, now, Poke, Pokeathlon stuff is really cool and all that, but I'm not really sure I want to do that, at least right now in this Let's Play. Plus, it would be exceedingly difficult to record. So maybe we'll come back to this, um, and I can attempt to be an athlete. The keyword being attempt here, because, as I said, I ain't no athlete! Mm-mm, it's not me. It's not me, I'm afraid. Uh, Hello, sir. Today is Saturday. That means the bug catching contest is on today! The rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a bug type Pokemon to be judged, which you. Dude! We can do the bug catching contest! Oh, this is convenient. Okay. Yeah! 
Yeah, I want to do a bug catching contest. I used to catch bugs all the time when I was younger. Man, that's awesome. Uh oh, you have more than one Pokemon. You'll have to use Pippi, the first Pokemon in your cut. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Pippi can do it. No problem. Fine, we'll hold your other Pokemon while you compete, and you better not let you better not let anything happen to them, or I will slit your throat in your sleep. Sorry, I'm really protective of my Pokemon. <clears throat> okay, moving on. Laura's Pokemon are left with the contest helper. Here are the sports ball, sport, sport, sport balls for the contest. What is with all the sports talk this episode? I'm not an athlete, dang it. Okay, the person who gets the strongest bug Pokemon is the winner. You have 20 minutes. If you run out of sport balls, you're done. You can keep the last Pokemon you catch. It's sweet. Go out and catch the strongest bug type Pokemon you can find. Oh, this is gonna be fun, guys! It's a bug catching contest. Oh, oh, this is National Park, isn't it? Relaxation square for everyone now. Oh yeah, I love National Park. Oh man, we can come back and like properly explore this later. But for now, we need to find some grass and a lot of bug type Pokemon. And I'm gonna look for the best one that I possibly can find because, well, you know, that's a great idea. Venonat. Oh, okay. Let's let's go ahead and give catching this one a try. Um, uh, I'm not gonna knock it out with one hit using tackle, am I? Good, good, okay, good. I have a strategy that I can use here then. Actually, this works out pretty well, because Pippi's got Tackle, which isn't very powerful, and on top of that, I have a stat- Oh, wait, it's a poison type. Wow, I'm dumb. Okay, never mind, that's not gonna work. Uh, let's throw a sport ball at it and try it. Dun, 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 dun. Venonat's probably not the best one you can get. In fact, I'm almost certain that it's not the best one you can get, but hey, it probably beats some of the other basic bug types out there. You all those basic bugs, those peasants. God, look at me with my Venonat. Hmm. Okay. Got myself a Venonat. And I guess, I think the idea is that you keep catching bug Pokemon, or at least keep... Whoa! Beedrill! Dude, that one's probably gonna beat Venonat, in all honesty. Um, let's give, it tr let's, let's give this one a try. Let's try and catch this one. Oh, we even got a critical hit. I can't even use poison powder on this one, so that's actually good. This will work to my advantage, that critical hit. This is fun. Oh, I love, I love this. I forgot all about the bug catching contest, honestly, in this game. Uh, okay. Since you're a fully evolved Pokemon, I'm gonna guess that you're gonna be a tougher customer when it comes to the sport balls. Okay. Uh-huh. Let's try it again. You know, if they're sport balls... Why aren't they shaped like the balls that you use in sports, like basketballs or baseballs or something? Wouldn't that be funny? Like if you just threw a baseball at a Pokemon and they're like, what? And then it actually opens up and it's a Pokeball and it catches them. It's like, ha, I tricked you. You thought we were playing baseball, but I actually done caught ya. Yeah. Didn't see that coming, huh, Billy Beedrill, huh? Okay, poison bee Pokemon. It has three poison barbs. The barb on its tail secretes the most powerful poison. I feel really, ugh, I feel dumb because as soon as I, my first objection was that, that was I only see two barbs on its hands and then I remembered the third one on its butt. The butt barb is of course the strongest of these. <clears throat> yeah, let's swap the uh, Venonat for Beedrill. And who knows, maybe we'll find something even better. I'm probably being too optimistic about it, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh heck no! That's a basic Pokemon right there! I ain't trade it. That's a downgrade! Nah, man. I'm sticking with my Beedrill, thanks very much. <clears throat> ah! Okay. You got something even better than a Beedrill? I doubt it. Oh no! That's an obvious downgrade! That one's just the plated golden punching bag. No one wants that one. Not when you could have its fully evolved form. I mean, jeez. Oh, thick grass. Is that a bug catcher? I guess there's a, like other people participating in the contest. Like the ones that oh, that's like the most major downgrade you could possibly give me. Jeez, okay then. Gosh. I see anything. Oh, hello. Benny. Just scare off the Scyther, I'll talk to you later. <gasps> Are there Scyther here? Dude, I'm gonna get the Scyther before you do. I bet I'm gonna get the Scyther before you do. Probably not, though. I mean, what are the chances of actually getting a Scyther in this? Like, are there chances? I'm sure there is, because the guy said there's a Scyther. And I can very vaguely remember playing this before and getting something like a Scyther. Or was it a Pinsir? I think it depends on the version. I don't remember. 
Anyways, we're about to run out of time for this episode, so I think I'm going to end the episode off here. In the next part, we will continue playing in the bug catching contest. I will see you peeps then.